Hi everyone, welcome to Lindark Does Life. In this week's episode, I'm gonna be unboxing this Edmonton-made indigenous box, which features products from indigenous makers across Canada. My name is Linda Huang, and I'm a Canadian blogger, and now video blogger, sharing about my life. Tune in each week as I do something. <laughs> I'll try things you might wanna try, visit places you might wanna visit, and eat food you might wanna eat. I hope you join me as I do life. The Indigenous Box is a seasonal curated subscription box service that features unique, beautiful, fun, useful, delicious, and delightful products from Indigenous small businesses across Canada. Curated by Mallory Yongwei, the Indigenous Box first launched in March 2021 and is designed to promote Indigenous entrepreneurs. One of my acts of reconciliation is pledging to support Indigenous business owners. Let's open Mallory's Fall Abundance Box and see what we get. Be sure to sign up to get or gift a future Indigenous box. These make great gifts for yourself, people you know, and even corporate gifts. Each Indigenous box comes with a booklet describing the box items and what the season or box name means, including some Indigenous storytelling. Ban Soan is thin sliced meat in Cree. Mm, smells good. This is smoked and dried bison meat prepared in Edmonton in Treaty 6 territory. It's elder approved. Next, we have organic wild rice from NWC, a collective of Cree, Dene, and Métis harvesters. Harvested on the northern lakes of Saskatchewan. You wanna see what organic wild rice harvested in Saskatchewan looks like? This product supports the families and communities of the region it grows in. Spirit Bear Coffee Company provides fresh organic coffee in a variety of blends, including what I got, an Orca Dark Roast or Frog Breakfast Blend. Awaken your spirit naturally. This beautiful tea towel is from Native Northwest, which features indigenous artists like Nicole LaRock from Coast Salish Nation in British Columbia. So soft. She says hummingbirds offer us a sense of joy and happiness. And the towel gets softer and more absorbent with each wash. Sriracha Revolver is a mango hot sauce by indigenous maker Jordan Hawker in Vancouver. Can't wait to try this sweet and spicy sauce. And finally, this beautiful print is by Simone McLeod, an Ojibwe artist born in Winnipeg, Manitoba, now part of the James Smith Cree Nation in Saskatchewan. The piece is called Giving Thanks for Who We Are. Simone says her paintings are a silent prayer of hope for the future. What a great box! Mallory says with a $33 billion economy set to triple by 2024, Indigenous entrepreneurs are starting businesses at nine times the Canadian national average. Indigenous entrepreneurs are coming to take up space and exist in spaces where they haven't been welcomed in the past, and it's incredible to see and support. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Lindirk Does Life. I highly recommend you check out the Indigenous Box and basically support and promote indigenous entrepreneurs. See you next time. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome to blah 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 blah.